all right hey guys um i'm not gonna say happy monday because i'm definitely filming this on a monday but it totally isn't monday legs up nice and cozy um right i just wanted to say a massive hello and thank you for those who have come over particularly from my channel home instagram um i really really do appreciate your support this is something that i've wanted to do for a really really long time um is to start being a bit more creative and things i really like forcing myself into situations where i have to like learn things i.e video editing i'm not very good at that and i really wanted to combine that with my love for interiors um as well as fashion based things um i've always followed a lot of bloggers and vloggers and things i've always thought i really really would love to be doing that thinking of new creative ways to showcase um uh, like things around my house and what i'm doing so yeah this is my creative outlet um so yeah, today's video is basically going to be showing you um, some items that we bought recently to decorate our house, as I said. Um, so we have, we well for those who aren't familiar to us, or me, um, I moved into this house with my boyfriend in March 2018. Um, so this is our first property together, it's the first house either of us bought. Um, and it was a really lovely house where we came to view it and things. Um, nothing wrong with it at all really, it was just didn't really have our stamp on it. So the walls were all very beige, there was like brown carpets in, the laminate in the hallway was just a bit ugly, um, but structurally sound and actually everything was beige as I said, so actually it acted as a really good base just to do what we wanted with. Um, so we spent a lot of time just trying to zhuzh it up a bit and put our personal stamp on it. We did sort of go very, very grey at the start, but now we're trying to lift that and make it look a bit more interesting and add a bit more depth and things like that. So it's been quite an interesting um, couple of months. I say a couple of months, but it's like 18 months ago now we moved in. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you some of the bits that we have bought to finalise some rooms. Um, and what else do I have here? I'm surrounded by all the stuff. Um, and some dinnerware as well, actually. So that is clearly isn't finishing any rooms that is just purely because we wanted them um so yes let me show you this stuff so i will first of all go through the dinnerware because i think um lots of you will like this so we have essentially um got a bit of an obsession with denby products um so i don't know if you can see that I'm trying to look at my viewfinder see if you can um but anyway this denby studio stuff um is really really beautiful um so look at that so we bought dinner plates in this set and it's all like mismatchy so i'll just show you the box so there are some white items um pale blue and then the blues get progressively darker um but it's just really really lovely i love that it's mismatched but actually that there are similarities there in that it's all flecked um i'll take some of these out so you can see them but they're just so so nice um they call these um i think this is the studio gray uh, what colour it is, it's probably on, on the other side of this box um, but these are the coupe plates so they just have a really nice little ridge on them um, yeah they're a bit less of a traditional shaped plate but I just thought it's really nice if you've got something that is a bit runny on your dinner um, or saucy then they'll just catch everything without you having like a really flat dinner plate so I really really liked those um, so yeah this is the really dark one well the darkest one, the slightly lighter one protect them as I put them down then this is the lightest one which you hopefully can see the speckles on a little bit um, they're all speckled like that but I just thought I'd zoom in just so you've got a little bit of a show and then this is a really really dark one so this is Sandy's favourite and it's quite like an indigo colour but I just think it's absolutely beautiful we are big Denby fans so we're really happy with those purchases um, we actually got the full set of that um, or as much as we could physically find so it was all purchased from John Lewis and Partners so we've also got the mugs which are um, sort of the same sort of style. They are so nice. I'll try and find my favourite one for you because it's really different, or my favourite pair even. So Sandy absolutely loves these, and I really do too, um, but we essentially couldn't compromise because these are from two different sets. Um, it's all the studio range, but this is the blue studio range, and this is the grey. The grey is my favourite, although it is definitely more blue. Um, but let me just show you the mugs so they have like this ribbing around them which i really really like um and again the same speckled style um they are, are they plain inside more or less plain inside you can sort of see a little bit of a pattern or it's very difficult to pick up on there um but they're really nice and then the other one is just so so cool and i showed you this one so this one makes sense basically so 
so that is plain on the outside it's basically the reverse of the previous mug and then it's all speckled inside how special is that so i saw these on great british break off um a couple weeks ago and just seeing them like on their table being used being in situ we don't even drink tea but or coffee but we just liked them so we got on people if, if you're one of my friends and you want to come over you'll be able to enjoy our nice new mugs millie you love a tea that's definitely going to be your bag awesome so that is uh, the Denby mugs. What else did we get? Did we get Denby cereal bowls? Um, yeah, sorry, everything is like properly spread out. So I'm going to be lunging quite a lot towards you. And then in the same style, yeah, we've got the cereal bowls as well. So can you see that? Perfect, yeah. So they're really cool. Really love those. Um, I think that's all of the Denby stuff. Yes. Um, and then, oh, do you know what? I could. Oh, speak about this pan for ages um so essentially easy glide are a really really cool brand of um like pots and pans and bakeware um they have just the most amazing pans um i work in retail and i used to sell these when i was a sales assistant back in i don't know 2000 and where is it now like 2013 2014 and i oh gosh i always used to recommend these to people whenever they wanted new pans um so this range is called um so it's easy glide never stick three uh this is the professional set so we already had some of the uh, never stick two set um which was essentially black and white and it was all speckled we love speckly stuff but then this is a professional set which has i'll zoom in a bit hopefully you can see it's got like lines going through it. it's a bit of a rib detail which is really cool but it's really really smooth and they are just the best pans ever so metal handle they the metal handle never ever gets hot which is really really cool um and the best non-stick i've ever used it doesn't come off um i could so we have obviously the never stick two stuff which i just said and nothing ever sticks i could cook a bare chicken breast with seasoning on it um i could fry an egg in these pans without adding any oil they are just incredible um so i really really rate these um they also come with a lifetime guarantee so essentially you'd contact the company um if anything went wrong with them and yeah they're just awesome i've never had any issues um they wash really really well as well um the only uh, thing which I would say um, does get affected um, and sort of changes their appeal a little bit, like the teeny, teeny, teeniest bit, um, is that the underside um, where you actually, where it actually makes contact with the hob does discolour a little bit, but it's so easily fixed um, with the pink stuff. Um, so the pink stuff is what I use to clean my existing one up, uh, existing ones up, and I will continue to do that with these as well. Um, but it's such a gradual discoloration that it really doesn't matter to me. The pans are the best thing ever um they're really lightweight as well um i'm not particularly strong by um anyone's measure of strength so yes love those um so in the same range i've wanted it for ages but it was always just a little bit expensive another lunge coming sorry um is the roasting tray so again super non-stick um don't really know why this is on the bottom i don't know if i can use it on the hob or who knows um but they are induction friendly as well um but yeah just really smart professional um roasting tray didn't have a roasting tray before uh, we struggled a little bit for storage in the kitchen so it'll be interesting seeing where this goes um but clearly i needed it um fab so that is all the cookware i think um we also picked up these salt and pepper meals as well so these are just really smart they are by Colin mason um all the stuff so far was purchased from john lewis and partners but these are really lovely anyway, they're really really smart really like those um they have like a little gauge on the front where you can alter the um the grind size so whatever is dispensing comes out like a slightly different um what's the word not thickness you can you can choose a texture of your of your salt and pepper basically i don't know what the word is i'm no chef um so yeah that is those they're just re really nice um they're going to be popped next to our hob probably replacing um the existing oil pourers that we have which are basically just the bottles olive oil and rapeseed oil come in um and we're going to get a nice little olive board um small chopping board thing to put these on just to lift the kitchen because we don't want it to be too clinical for the black and white so that's those um okie dokie and then something that we spent um our saturday doing it was just really really fun um oh let me finish the john lewis and partner stuff first 
getting way ahead of myself. Um, so lighting is something that Sandy and I are really, really passionate about. So we have bought so much lighting um, since we moved into this house and ju we just sort of like cycle through all the stuff. Um, so I guess seasons come and we just think, oh, we can change the light out and we've probably got something of the loft that will fit into a room. So this is a mango wood lamp that we bought um, i really really love this it's got this really lovely um geometric design on um when it's like illuminated the shadow it casts on the wall is really really pretty as well um so yeah i really love this i'm going to take that shade off because it didn't actually come with that shade it came with a white one um but it's just super super pretty it's really really weighty as well um so it's just really gorgeous um yeah so we've got two of these um we are probably going to put them in our living room um we do this thing where we have no idea where things are going to go but we just really like them so we find a home for them um that's what's happened with these so um yes these are just really really lovely and we love them acts as a really nice contrast on all of the oak sort of coloured wood that we have um this isn't that dark um it's probably like a mid wood colour sort of built between mahogany and oak but I really really like that um, yeah, so that is our lamp from John Lewis and Partners. Love it. Uh, so, ta da! Um, angle Poise Light. Um, this is something that we only just recently started really being into um, the Angle Poise sort of like desk lamps. They're just really, really cool. Um, we first gravitated towards the Paul Smith variations. Like, they have really cool designs and they're like lots of different colours. Um, colours that are quite muted and you get really really bright ones i think there's one that has like primary colours on the one we gravitated towards the most initially was the paul smith one that had like the pink and the yellow one we just thought that was really cool and it would look really really awesome against our dark grey wall that's in the office um but then actually we decided to play it safe and just make sure that we're future proof in this purchase so we ended up getting one that was in white with like silver and dark grey details on so um, i have it just down here um, the bases are super weighty, so I'm going to be really careful lifting this, so I don't snag it on anything. Um, oh gosh, it's quite big isn't it, let me try and... Yes, this is our lovely Angle Poise Light, so super adjustable, I love this dark grey cording, it just looks really really smart. Um, yeah, I love the silver accents, it's just beautiful, so it looks really nice on our desk. Um, I'm sure at some point later on, um, in a couple of weeks or whatever, when I do a bit of a house tour or house update or something like that, I'll show you it in situ, but this is this is it, it's very awkward to show in a video, I'm not going to lie, so I'm going to put it down now. It's a bit, bit uh, cumbersome. Um, okay, so I think that's everything we bought from John Lewis and Partners recently. I'm having a scan around the room because everything is just sort of scattered around. Um, and I'm going to move on to something that we recently po purchased from a shop that we have never ever visited before. Um, I first found out about the shop online just through Instagram actually um, I usually find brands that I like to buy homeware from via Instagram which I really like um, I think it's just effortless I just love seeing things in situ in a house you know in an actual house that's being lived in on Instagram and then I just click through to find out where things are from and that's how generally I find places that I like so Cox and Cox I really like Ochre I really like um, John Lewis and Partners I love um, so yeah, that's how I sort of find all of these brands. Hudson Home is also really gorgeous too. Um, so this is from Oka. So this vase, £35, so gorgeous. So it has, um, it's a ceramic vase um, and it has brown accents on it. I never thought that I would be going back to like a neutral pla uh, palette that isn't monochromatic. We went very, very grey. Um, but I think noticing that the house was feeling a little bit cold and we just needed to lift it a bit, we just really, really enjoyed looking at this. So we thought, yeah, we need to incorporate it somewhere in the house. Um, so yeah, it's just got like watercolour lines on. It's hand painted. I think it's hand thrown as well and it has gorgeous little imperfections that I really love. Um, a little work added to each piece which I think is really awesome um, and then if you follow me on Instagram this is the vase that I was styling in my stories on Saturday when we went to Bath so the very first ochre store that we went into was in Bath um, and that was on Saturday um, and it was just a really nice experience so we had help from a lovely for, uh, florist there who um, creates these lovely faux bou bouquets around their store and we were just very captured by it um, Sandy and I have never seen realistic um, like plants that are this realistic so we really really enjoy putting this together um so we've got 10 branches in, uh, 
10 branches. I've just seen a label that says £10 and that's why I've said that. We have four branches in here and they're £10 each, but they are super realistic and they just look really lovely. Um, we didn't want like lots of flowers, we're not really florally people. I'm the sort of girl that likes flowers that look a little bit dishevelled and I guess alternative. I don't really know what the... Um, I just really love this, I thought it was really cool. Um, so this is what we put together. Um, there's a little time lapse on my Instagram story if you haven't seen it already, but it's just really pretty. Um, adds a bit of green and makes our living room look really cozy. It just lives on our little um, side table next to the sofa. Um, so it adds as a real point of interest when you come into the room. You can see it just opposite you. And yeah, I just think it's really lovely. So yes, that is that. Um, I'm just having a little scan around the room and I don't actually think there is anything else. Um, we've got the other mango wood light. Um, I think that's about it. So that was my very first tour. I really hope you enjoyed that. Um, I will make sure that all of the pricing for everything is in the um, description box um, just and links to anything if as long as they're all still live, which I'm sure they are um, because it's all relatively new stuff. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and yeah, let me know what you think and what you want to see next and I will try and make that happen. See you later.